Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. In this episode, let's delve into a place that has become a pilgrim site for Harry Potter fans around the globe. A place nestled on the concourse of King's Cross Station in London, known to us as the Gateway, where young witches and wizards take their first steps towards Hogwarts. Yes, you've guessed it. We're talking about the Harry Potter shop at Platform 9 and 3 quarters. After exploring Tower Bridge in London, we made our way back to our hotel to get our luggage, then proceeded to King's Cross Station, conveniently located just six minutes away from our hotel. As soon as we stepped into the King's Cross Station in London, we were welcomed by a choir. The spirit of Christmas was in the air. Then we purchased our tickets. Let me tell you, the place was decked out in holiday stuff everywhere. We spotted this awesome tree. But when we took a closer look, it turned out to be all Harry Potter themed, super cool ornaments and mystical trinkets that truly encapsulated the spirit of the wizarding world. And then there it is, the magical barrier that has captured the imaginations of millions. They have recreated the very spot where Harry Potter ran through the walls between platforms 9 and 10. As we assume a reasonable value of adoration from fans visiting from all corners of the world, we take a closer look at the Harry Potter shop itself. Opened to the public, this establishment is not just a store. It's a homage to the beloved series, a place where you can let your inner witch or wizard roam free amongst the shelves of memorabilia. From the latest in wand technology, to replicas of the most sought-after Quidditch supplies, every item within has been curated to transport visitors back to their favorite moments from the book and film series. The walls are adorned with robes and house scarves, the shelves with potions and spell books, and let's not forget the array of confectionery from Honeydukes that would tempt even a full-grown Hungarian horntail. As the years have passed, Butterbeer has leaped from the realm of Harry Potter's books and films, to become an actual delight for fans at their shops celebrating the wizarding world. This shop is more than commerce, it's an experience. Interactive elements, such as the photo opportunity with the trolley disappearing into the magical realm, capture the hearts of both young and old visitors. They line up, eager to recreate the iconic moment Harry first crossed into the wizarding world with his owl Hedwig by his side. The staff, dressed in Hogwarts garb, guide customers through this enchanted emporium with knowledge and a wink at the magical secrets it holds. You 
can feel the professional care taken in every detail, from the placement of the galleons at the cash wrap to the way the sorting hat whispers its verdicts. And as you wander through this spellbinding array of goods, each turn reveals yet another treasure. Perhaps it's the delicate glass vials of love potions that catch your eye, or the intricate marauder's map that fans out in your hands, ready to reveal the corridors and secrets of Hogwarts. As our time draws to a close, we consider the extraordinary impact this small but mighty shop has had on fans around the world. It's a reminder that the Harry Potter series is more than just stories on a page or scenes on a screen. It's a living, breathing part of our culture that continues to inspire and unite people across generations. This brings us to the end of another magical episode. And if you would like me to do a detailed episode of the Harry Potter shop at platform nine and three quarters, comment Harry Potter below. Remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You're always welcome to join the enchantment of our next episode. Until then, keep your wands ready, your potions labeled, and your curiosity for all things Potter burning bright. Farewell, fellow witches, wizards, and muggles, until our paths cross again on the platform that never ceases to amaze. Goodbye.